Sir, at IMC, the seventh edition, uh, you bring something unique here. Uh, you're talking about a solution based on a chipset that you develop, uh, which could revolutionize, in your words, the broadcast and the telecom space. Give us some color as to what this transmitter seeks to do, uh, what are the potential use cases, and how do you seek to monetize it? Yeah, so it's in simplest terms, it's mobile TV in some sense, uh, but we call it direct to mobile. It's a, it's a technology that's an out-of-band uh, spectrum that delivers content, video content, directly to uh, consumers on the phones and uh, any other devices without, uh, without the need for a SIM card or without the need for a data plan. Right? That reduces the cost of, uh, you know, reduces the barrier for digital exclusion so a lot of people can actually start watching uh, content, curated content on their phones, especially in public use cases like education, infotainment, and so on and so forth. So this technology has been brewing for about eight, eight, seven, eight years now. Uh, it's based on com uh, on our indigenous chipsets that we've been developing for last uh, 10 years. And uh, some of these radios that you see here are also designed and developed in India. They are uh, equivalent to your uh, 5G, 4G base stations, but it's like a mini TV transmitter in a small box. So for example, we can then have CN CNBC directly going to consumers uh, bypassing the internet in some sense, right, uh, to a larger catchment area at a much reduced uh, cost to the consumer. So in fact, today, uh, our average uh, data consumption is about 23 GB per month, which is the highest anywhere in the world, right? And uh, this 23 GB is soon going to go into 40 GB. Uh, there's a Moore's law we have found out that lurks there, where you know every three years our data consumption is doubling, and the video content consumption is doubling. Ericsson is pitching that number at 62 GB by 20. By uh, another three years, it will be about 40, 45, 46 GB is what we are predicting right now from our, you know, extrapolating from our past data that uh, that's happened. Now this kind of data puts a serious load on the on the on the networks, and that congests the networks, right? Like right now right now we are, we are having trouble as well so this technology helps alleviate some of those problems in a much simpler way so it's integrating the t traditional tv and the telecom network together converging both broadband and broadcast networks which is the future of what uh, you know what the future is uh, in some sense are you getting feelers from the industry? What does it look like by when we can uh, expect this technology to be commercialized? Yeah, this is a non-linear bet, right? So we are now at our fag end of our, uh, of our journey. We are now going to uh, commercialize this maybe in a year, year and a half's time uh, uh, in India for the world, right? So for the first time, we'll have something actually designed, developed in India, hardware technology, deep tech technology developed in India and exported to the rest of the world.